guys good afternoon good afternoon everybody thank you so much for joining us today um, on the program uh, say to this mountain I am so excited I can see a lot of people are already joined uh, I've already joined and um, we're just four minutes in so we're going to start um, start straight away uh, let's just give a few minutes uh, about three to uh, four minutes. I'm going to introduce the guest speaker for today. So in the meantime, don't go anywhere. Let me just indulge you. Enjoy this wonderful music by Juicy Rieka with me. Thank you. All over, knowing us and doing. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, I had to cut short the music. Uh, in just a few minutes, I'm going to be inviting into the studio, the virtual studio, Pastor Samuel Dagogo. So uh, before then, I'm going to give a brief introduction about this wonderful man of God. Um, yes. Sorry, I can see a lot of people are enjoying the music that's playing. <laughs> All right. So today, I mean, yesterday I did an introduction. Very few people joined us. But I'm just going to very quickly run through. Say to this mountain, uh, the program is focused on, you know, dealing with the mountains of influence in society and in life generally. So we're going to be um, tackling each one. There are seven of them. And we have lined up great men of God, our pastors of the Living Seed Church, I'm wearing a t-shirt, Living Seed Church, but I'm wearing for Lagos. <laughs> so the pastors of the Living Seed Churches, Lagos, um, of course, we have two in Lagos. So we have Omole and we have Ikorodu, and we have Potako, and then we have Ibada. So our pastors, and of course, including uh, our general himself, Pastor Leke Adeboye, they're all going to be taking each, you know, one, 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 one mountain, so we're starting with one of the most important. They're all important, you know, but, you know, just to, you know, pick your interest. How many times have you ever gotten so frustrated because the government of the day is doing something that you're not particularly, you know, enjoying? But, you know, most times Christians were taking the back seat in these things. But I'm not going to, you know, say anything so that I don't uh, peep into the notebook of uh, our, our man of God. I'm just going to very quickly read his profile, inviting him into the studio, we will pray and we will get started. All right. So the man of God for today was born and raised in the city of Potakot, River State, Nigeria. He is a young, vibrant, anointed minister of God. He found Christ as a teenager and has since been passionate about reading the gospel of Christ winning souls to God's kingdom, and he serves currently as the pastor of the RCC Living Seed Church, Port Harcourt. Um, 
Pastor Samuel has special interest in politics and governance. This interest was fueled by his interactions within the city of Potakot as a politically sensitive environment and his firm belief that effective leadership is a tool to drive social change. I believe that strongly too. So it's also a tool to enforce all around development and build thriving systems to create a better world for everyone. Hence, his uh, great interest and zeal for leadership governance and politics and that's why is a perfect person to you know tackle this mountain that is government ladies and gentlemen i'm bringing into the studio if you can clap where you are <laughs> let us make welcome pastor Samuel Agogo. hello good afternoon pastor okay, i think we're having a little feedback to delay him Okay, okay, fantastic. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Very well, thank you. And you? I can hear you. I mean, it's, it's keeping me. I can hear you. Okay, well, I've, I haven't read the introduction. I'm just going to go ahead and um, right, I think I there's a bit of a delay here. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I could hear you. Yes, we can hear you clearly. All right, so I'm just going to, um, having read, uh, you know, the introduction, I would like you to pray for us and then you can just um, start. Can you hear me? Okay, so I think we're having uh, some feedback. I can hear you. Guys, please hold on. Let's just try to sort this out. I think um, the pastor is not able to hear me. Hello, good afternoon. Bolan Legiwa. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. You can go ahead, sir. Mm -hmm. 
All right, sorry, I didn't realize I was muted when I was speaking. So I was saying, sorry, guys, I've been able to contact uh, Pastor Samuel, and he's taking a couple of seconds to um, reconnect his internet and his device. We're so sorry. You know how unpredictable um, our network can be here. Uh, so, but in just a few seconds or one minute at the very most, I'm sure he'll be right back. So please don't go anywhere. And in the meantime, I'm going to finish up on that song I'll explain. Don't go anywhere, Pastor Samuel will be right, right back. Thank you. And it's overwhelming.
All right, so one of my uh, all time, I'm, I'm video cliche today. One of my all time favorites is Nathaniel Bassi. So let's uh, enjoy this one. Let's say all power belongs to God. we have our parcel back so i'm just going to um reconnect now and um hopefully it's going to work smoothly but uh, thank you for staying with us please don't give up the network is going to get better very soon all right thank you very much All right, Pastor, can you um hear or see us? Yes, or I can hear you. I can see you. Please oh, pardon me because of the network. No problem. So much, Kara. Sorry, we had to cut you short. I could hear. I thought people could hear, and I got feedback that you know people could not hear as well. But now we're back. Please go ahead. Thank you so much, sir. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Can I go on? Yes, please. Yes. All right. Okay. Please, sorry for the challenges with network and all. Okay, we can move on now. So I'll just go straight to my own um, assignment, which is to talk about government and politics as a mountain. Government and politics as a mountain. Praise the Lord. All right. What is government? What is government? First of all, what is government? In very, very simple terms, a government is a system a group of system of people governing an organized community, often a state or a company or whatever. But government has to do with with uh, uh, go government has to do with organizing or governing an organized community or group of people. So government uh, has a lot to do with uh, um, putting people in order, putting people in uh, uh in coherence that's what government has to do with now one important thing about government in the 21st century is that we are not like um uh the way things used to be in the primitive era where every man decided for himself every man talks as uh, as as he deemed fit but in the 21st century uh, in today's world we have different concepts of government and um, one of which is practicable globally today that is being sold globally today is democracy and democracy is that kind of government that um, people come together contribute their power their individual government power and give to somebody they give their individual yeah. government power to somebody to decide for them, to somebody to, to lead them. So government has a lot to do with um, organizing the system. Now, one thing we need to understand is that government is different from politics. Government is different from politics. Politics or politicking are the activities that you do to get into government. Although government is different from politics or governance is different from politics you need politics to get into governance and that is one area that people need to understand so 
if government is very important and government affects every one of us so we cannot shy away from what we need to go into government so looking at government as a mountain that which you use to climb into the mountain of influence of government is politics mm -hmm. politics is the ladder that we use to climb into government you cannot climb into government without politics now right. politics is operational everywhere wherever you see human beings there will be politics wherever you see human beings because at all times people are interested in something everybody wants their interests to be met that's true everybody wants their interest to be considered so everywhere you find interest you will find politics and in government or governance you see that different people come with their own different interests so government has to do with ministries parastatals things that we do to secure social welfare security and all that but politics has to do with political parties it has to do with campaigns it has to do with rallies and um, so on and so forth praise the lord so we need to understand that as god's children to climb the mountain of government and become influential in the society for kingdom purpose we must climb on the platform of politics we must climb on the platform of politics now look at this the scripture says and the government shall be upon his shoulders and the government shall be upon his a quick thought there is no shoulder broad enough or strong enough to carry government except the shoulder of the kingdom hmm. The scripture says the government shall be upon his shoulders. There is no so shoulder broad enough or strong enough to carry government firmly like the shoulder of Christ, which is the church. The church, the shoulders of the church, the church are strong enough as the kingdom to carry the government. So scripture has said, the government shall be upon his shoulder. So if we want things to be wonderful, we cannot relegate issues of government to the kingdom of hell. Yeah. Because government affects our society. Government affects our everyday living. For example, we are currently uh, experiencing a global pandemic. And this global pandemic has made the government to make certain decisions. Mm -hmm. And these yeah. decisions has affected every one of us. The government says yeah. churches, schools, um, religious uh, places, social places mm -hmm. have to be locked down. It takes government power to bring up uh, 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 government. Uh, it takes government power to bring up decisions that will affect the everyday life of people. So when you see government, uh, 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 the government bringing up decisions that affect you negatively and you have nothing to do about it it shows that there's power in government and the power cannot be relegated to the wrong hands we are taught that right. power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely so immediately government power is relegated to the wrong hands it will bring corruption and the collapse of our system moving on we've understood what government means and the the importance of government cannot be overemphasized now permit me i would like to because of our time i would like to just speak on the following things very briefly if that is all we achieve today by the grace of god i'd like to speak on the uh, the following things that will help us because we have said that government is the mountain but policy Politics is the way to the mountain. Politics yes. is the ladder to the mountain. So if we must climb up the mountain and become influential in our society, we need to go on the platform of politics. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now, looking at this, now, how do...
we climb to the mountain of government. We climb to the mountain, stand the rules of engagement, stand the rules of engagement. We must understand that politics, politics is not just every other thing. Favor, favor, where did you go with your phone? You are disturbing the internet. Where's the phone? I told you to come and stay here now. Sorry, guys. Must understand the rules of engagement. Now, what are the rules of engagement in politics? For example, the rules of engagement for every child of God, we have two basic rules of engagement to function as a child of God. We have the We can hear you. you. Can go ahead, sir. All right, um, guys, I think we lost, um, he's lost connection again. Uh, he, he must have self-muted himself, and uh, but he'll be right back. And as usual, I'm uh, the DJ. I think he's coming back, so there will be no need to play music. But I hope we've been having a great time, you know, talking about, you know, the mountain that is government. He's, um, he's going to be, I'm bringing him back soon, and he'll, uh, yeah, okay, he's back. So I hope we've been um, learning so much. I'm bringing him back into the stream now. All right, sir, we can hear you. All right. Now, in, in, in church or in church, there are certain things that are wrong. Things like scheming, scheming, things like projecting yourself. You don't project yourself in church. You allow the Holy Spirit to project you. Mm -hmm. But in politics, you must understand the rules of engagement. In politics, you don't go to a meeting and keep quiet. Mm. Silence in politics means you are not interested. And for your interest, you, for you to bring up your interest, you must speak out. And that's why there are certain things that are very important for politics to work. We have uh, media. Every day you see people talk. The, the, one of the biggest tools of a politician is the microphone. Just allow him to talk. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be interested in government and be silent. Today, we see on social media platforms like Twitter, global political powers make statements that shake economies. They make That's statements right. that shake the system. So we must understand the rules of engagement. In the rules of engagement in politics are different from the rules of engagement in other mountains. For example, you must understand your environment. In Nigeria today, winning an election Today in Nigeria, within an election, with the statistics that we have concerning uh, voter turnout, uh, voter education, and all, you might not win an election if you don't share rice and Gary. Because the people that you want to want to vote for you, they don't have the means in which they may not even understand your English. So you must understand that you need money to win election. These are the rules of engagement. If you want to get into politics, money is needed. And there's no two ways about it. We cannot shy away from it. Money is needed. We are trusting God that we'll get to the dimension where some of these things are not needed. But the truth is money is needed. For you to get power, you need to take power from other people. And these people need to trust you. The rules of engagement in politics, grassroots is very important. In politics, you don't rise from the top. You rise from below. That's why we've seen many people rise up 
pick up forms to become senators to become governors when they have not even they don't even know where their ward their local government ward is <laughs> you need to understand the rules of engagement you need to understand the political climate who are the people that matter in this place you need to understand that you need to understand the rules of engagement in politics uh, to climb up you need to understand that you must you must speak out you must sell yourself in the kingdom of god you allow god to sell you but in the mountain of uh, of polit uh, government you sell yourself because the grace of god is already on you so you must project yourself you can't keep quiet praise the lord moving on uh, apart from understanding the rules of engagement number two you must fully participate you must have full participation you must have full participation you cannot say you want to climb the mountain of government on the platform of politics and not attend political meetings you want to win politics you must not only learn how to attend prayer night videos you must learn how to attend midnight cacos meetings mm -hmm. Some of these meetings are not held in the day. They are held in the midnight. So you cannot tell yourself that, no, I'm a child of God. I will go to 9VG. I will not go to the meeting. It is in that meeting they will write names of those that will become minister. And even mm -hmm. after you leave there, they will cancel some people's name. So you mm -hmm. must follow it up. Now, for example, there's somebody in the Bible that had an excellent spirit, Daniel. Daniel had an excellent spirit. But we cannot, we cannot ignore the fact that Daniel held political power. So Daniel was attending meetings with unbelievers. Daniel was attending meetings with people that don't believe in his God. But he was projecting himself. He was projecting himself and at all times he was bringing results. So I want to ask a rhetorical question that everybody should go back and look at. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the image of King Nebuchadnezzar, where was Daniel, their brother? Because mm -hmm. scripture did not tell us where Daniel was. That is a topic oh, yeah. for another day. We <laughs> must understand the rules of engagement. Many people have gone into politics as good Christians that would have even led us in the mountain of government very well, but they did not understand full participation. Full participation. Are you known in your local government, in your ward? In your, some people just feel that by the time they're educated, they have some more money, they can come from uh, overseas and pick up form to become governor. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that because at the end of the day, the people supporting you on social media will not come out on election day. They are afraid. But it is the poor masses that have nothing to lose. The only thing they are interested in is their belly. Food for the belly and belly for the food and everything will perish. That's all they are interested in. So they need to love you. Look at this. People take rise of 5,000 naira and sell their political power for four years. Hmm. Are they stupid? Are they foolish? People may look at them as stupid and foolish, but the reality is that there's hunger in the society. Mm -hmm. And these people want their hunger to be dealt with. So we must understand it through participation. Go and become a card-carrying member of the political party. When they are sharing money in the political party, please make sure you are there. Take your own. <laughs> when they are giving people assignments in the political party, make sure you are there. Take an assignment. When they are giving people roles, make sure you are there. Don't stay at home and watch the rally. Go there. Let them see you. Wear the uniform. When they want to go on a protest, carry the placard. There must be full participation. Number three, I've talked about two things. Number three, in climbing the mountain of government for kingdom impact and kingdom influence, we have said you move on the platform of politics. Number three thing is loyalty. Loyalty is a key factor in politics and government. Loyalty. 
Loyalty is very important, especially in a place like Nigeria. You will hear words like, are you loyal? Mm. We must understand that you we must understand that for you to climb up that mountain as a child of God, not losing your your Christian values, the fruits of the Spirit of God, you must be loyal. You must believe in a cause and fight for the cause. You must stick to in, in politics, there are camps, there are fashions. You cannot be in everybody's fashion. Yeah. Loyalty is very important. You must be loyal to a cause. People must know you for who you are. Sincerely, as bad, as bloody, as uh, dirty as the political system is globally in Nigeria, in Africa, or locally as we know, there are key players that everybody knows what they stand for. And when the chips are down, political leaders know who to meet for certain things. Mm -hmm. So in climbing that mountain from the early stage, you must be determined to be loyal to a cause. Everybody must know the kind of politics you play. They must know because bribe will come. They will come and give you bribe. They will, they will tell you that you should leave this camp. You should leave. The people must know you for who you are. Even amongst oppositions, they know each other. They know that this person in this party does cannot do this, cannot take this. This person in this party, this is the kind of person he is. So loyalty is very important. Currently, we have a situation uh, in Nigeria right now with uh, some political parties in Edo State and um, uh uh, Oceans uh, on those things. Yeah, all these things are playing out. And you see that it is a game of loyalty. What are you loyal to? Most people don't want to be loyal. We cannot remove Godfatherism from politics. It is an integral part of politics. That is the truth. If you have spiritual father in the church, you can you get God, political Godfather is part of it. I said it earlier in the rules of engagement. Who is part of the rules? Who is you? Who is have to be loyal to climb the mountain of government? Number five, interests. Number five, sorry, number four, projection. I said it earlier. The government yes. on the platform of politics. People must be willing, ready, and able to project themselves. You can start small, like Napoleon Hill said, think big, start small, grow fast. You could project yourself in that your classroom as becoming the um, cause rep. You could project yourself in the departmental department or faculty in your school. You can begin to project yourself and let people know what your stands are. Yeah. You yeah. want to go into government. You want to. You want to uh, uh, have political power to, as a child of God, to influence the society on kingdom base. You must be willing to project yourself. People should know that this is what you are for. And funny enough, there are platforms to project oneself now easier than before. We have social media. Mm -hmm. You must be an advocate for something. You cannot keep quiet over everything because silence means you are not interested. So to climb the, the, the polit, uh, government mountain on the platform of politics, the church and God should then need to project themselves. Join the political party, be available, be involved. You must be there. It's just like in church. Some of we have spiritual fathers. We are loyal to them and we stand for them. We defend them. Also in politics, you must stand for something. You must project yourself. Number five, interests. Interest, number five. And climbing this mountain of government on the platform of politics, interest is very important. What are your interests? Whether we like it or not, Today in Nigeria or globally, we have good politicians. There are good politicians, and over the years, they have been fighting for a cause. They have been fighting for their interests. 
you must understand that interest come interest. Sorry, personal interest and people's interest. Everything you are doing must go in that line. If you are interested in becoming a senator, you must move in that line. And you must project it. And when you get to that office, you must not forget your interests. What are your interests? For example, it is a norm in Nigeria that when somebody goes into political office, the first four years is for making the people happy. The first four years is for people interest. And then the second four years is for the personal interest. These are things in politics, they are normal things in politics. So if you shy away from them, you will we will not have this government power. Government power is not given, it is taken. Government, mm. power, political power is not given, it is taken. It, it, we, may, we may want to deceive ourselves that, oh, we just let it go. No, 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 no. It is taken. Because you see the way some politicians move or during uh, campaigns or during election period. It's because the next four years of their life will be determined by that activity. So they can't let it go. So God's people, children of God listening to me all over the world, if you have a calling to climb the mountain of government on a on the platform of politics you need to understand that this is a kingdom mandate and we cannot afford to leave it to the children of the devil the scripture says the church of god is moving forward and the gates of hell shall not prevail over it if, yes. we, need, if we need to go out for rallies then we must go out for rallies if we need to go out uh, 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 to say no to certain things, we must go out fully. If it has to do with late night meetings to ensure that the, our interest is protected, we cannot afford to relegate it to the devil. Yet this child of God, darkness, darkness, darkness shows in self wedge in politics and striving on the platform of lack of light. It is because there is no light. That is why darkness is ruling. But when we come into government on the platform of kingdom authority, the church of God is moving forward and the gate of hell shall not prevail over it. So let us move with our kingdom interest. There is a kingdom interest. And it is the kingdom interest that should give us the morale. It is the kingdom interest that should give us the, the momentum. What is your interest? Your interest should be spelled out at all times. Look at this. When it is time to, for politics, when it's time for election, when it's time to drag ballot box, when it's time to shoot, they go for the old, young people. It is the youth, the elders call when it's time to snatch ballot box, when it's time to fight. But when it's time to give ministerial appointments, they go for the elders. Why? Because they have looked at the youth that the youth don't have an interest. The youth don't know what they want. The youth just want some money and back out. The youth just want to be something. There's already, the elders are already, or some elders in politics are already giving us, the young people, the, mind, the mindset that the position that is for us is to be backstage. No, it is not mm -hmm. true. Some young people are proud and arrogant because one political leader made them media uh, media assistant, and the person is giving them some change. When you need to go and take power, you are waiting for people to give you power. When power is taken, power is not given. And the scripture says, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to us. So we have been empowered with every tool, with every equipment to climb through the ladder of politics to the mountain of government. Two more uh, items. Number six, capacity. Capacity. Look at this. Two more items and I'm off. Capacity. After politics comes governance. After politics comes governance. And we have seen over the years that the, the, the system is dying because it has been politics after politics after politics. Mm, that's true. People don't have capacity for govern governance. All they have capacity for is politics. There are two things. Politics is how we get there. Governance is what we do when we get there. There are some governors that can that are political strategists, but when they get to government, they don't have a plan. 
There are senators that shot people, killed people, uh, made people die, shared money. They know how to draw the game. They know how to, to make sure they win. But when they get to the red chambers, they, they have never sponsored any bill. Hmm. Capacity. And that's why you see, oftentimes, there are some people that have come into politics on the platform of capacity. Somebody, we've seen situations where um, bank MDs have been appointed to become uh, uh, ministers. They have been given further yeah. government yeah. pastors to lead because of capacity. The politicians know that they don't have capacity for governance. So after a while, they bring in technocrats. But this is what what we sell you as a, a, a as a politician climbing to the mountain of uh, uh, government as for kingdom influence build your capacity hmm. there are certain things we cannot take away from some people and that's the fact that they can deliver hate them or like them when you put them into uh, the uh, the uh, political office they will two seconds they will they will shake all the tables they will make hmm. things happen they will make things happen I realized um, I'm not going to mention names. I realized that a a a a a, a current minister in Nigeria. I'm not going to mention it, a current minister in Nigeria who did a ministry that before now, say ten years ago, was not one kind of very significant ministry. But the man has become so influential. He's in charge of all the parastatas in the ministry. So what are we talking about? Capacity development. Some people just want to carry power. Power is not juice to be drank. Power. Mm -hmm power is for people you use power to influence you use power to make things happen so for you we must build capacity you must build capacity somebody that wants to run a sprint race a hundred meters race or a marathon race must go on and keep doing these things over and over again you want to go to the olympics you must train you want to have a chest that you want to be physically fit you must train yourself praise the lord so, so we young people, we need to understand that we must build capacity for the office. Some people don't even know. Some people don't even know what they do in, this, uh, in the in the red chambers. Some people don't even know what they do. Some people don't even know what a bill is called. We have people that are local government chairmen that they sit down for a, a, a session with the councillors and they can't talk. They can't say anything. We have people that are senators. We have people that are ministers. They can't do anything because they went on the platform of politics and they cannot influence the mountain. Finally, mm. finally, finally, delivery. Delivery. What are you climbing this mountain of governance, of government for? You are climbing the mountain of government for delivering kingdom mandates. Yet, this child of God, we must understand the fact that we are not going to live forever. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. We need to understand that we are climbing the mountain of governance with a kingdom mandate. We have a kingdom mandate to deliver. And that is establishing the kingdom of God here. You might not have been called to be a prophet to the nations, but you have been called to be a minister to the nations. You have been called to be a local government chairman to that community. You have been called, you may not have been called into the healing ministry, but you have been called to the senate ministry. You may not have been called to the deliverance ministry, but you have been called to the ministry of health. You may not have been called to the ministry of, 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 of uh, uh, empowerment or power, but uh, uh, for you may not have been called to the ministry of deliverance, or what, but you have been called to a ministry. And the word ministry has to do with service. We must understand that in climbing that mountain of government uh, uh, influence, we must understand that we are there to install kingdom sanity. I'm concluding right now. The government globally is messed up. We have a lot of clean up to do. God is looking for those government houses, the red chamber, the green chamber, as a, a local government, state assemblies. God is looking for people that will go into these places and clean it up. He wants to, us to go there and clean it up. So we must understand that we have a kingdom mandate to deliver. Martin Luther King understood that he had a kingdom mandate and he kept on moving. 
Even when they said, keep quiet, he didn't keep quiet. I tell you, in climbing that mountain, people will give you money to keep you quiet. People will give you certain position to keep you quiet. But look at this. We must not be discouraged. Sometimes we may need to lose a battle to win a war. There are sometimes we need to lose a battle to win a war. Governance of politics does not end after an election. If you lost the election, you have four good years of intelligently antagonizing the current government. Mm. You have four good years of intelligently speaking. Those four good years is enough time to campaign and say this thing they are doing, I can do it better. In conclusion, there is no politician that has power and sees a young man or woman that can be a big asset to his or her political career and then to the government and then to the person himself in future that will ignore that person. Mm -hmm. So the assignments you are relegated to when you start politics is a function of the capacity that they see in you. There are people that they send to go to election ground and scatter the place. There are people that they call for midnight meetings. Mm -hmm. So you will decide by capacity development which of the meetings you want to attend. I want to say this again as I end up. It is very important that we understand the rules of engagement in politics. What is applicable in Nigeria may not be applicable in America. What is applicable in Lagos State may not be applicable in River State. What is applicable in your local government may not be applicable in another local government. We must understand the rules of engagement. And the rules of an old mama to vote may not be 10 minutes English. It may just be your two minutes giving her one small rapper. So these are things we need to understand. And it's just very simple. And it is very important that as dirty as politics is, the platform for climbing into the mountain of government for influence, as dirty as it is, the spirit of God inside of us, the fruit of the spirit inside of us has enough capacity to clean things up and make us work. So with these few points of mind, I hope I've not been able to confuse you but convince you that the mountain of government for influence is very important for kingdom dominion. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you so much. This has been so powerful and you convinced us, don't worry about it. So when you were speaking, so many questions were coming in and some people were, you know, um, chipping in. I have questions myself, but before I take right. questions, so I'm just going to very quickly post um, so that people can start to ask Questions uh, for the next few minutes. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, so I saw like a few comments that I don't really see the comments on the side. So uh, one person did say it was um, um, Olamide George. He said, uh, that there is something called giving back. So it was when you made reference to, um, yes, yeah, this one, when you made reference to, uh, what's it called? And this is the one I want to show. Yes. When you made reference to the fact that you can't just come from, you know, somewhere. And then he said this, but I don't know if he still wants to ask questions, but I just wanted to, you know, point to this uh, comment that I came across. So what do you think about it? He's saying that you can come from anywhere and govern. I know you already covered this, but if you can just quickly. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, definitely. Please, I, uh, allow me to judge. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You can come from anywhere, but you must understand the rules of engagement. Because let me give an example for a snake. A snake. Um, the cobra snake bites not because it just wants to bite. The snake will bite for security. Hmm. The snake hmm. will bite for security. So sometimes the people in the grassroots, when you come to them to give back, 
because they don't understand your intentions and maybe you are not using the patterns that they understand no. yes they can see that as opposition and that will make all your good intentions be messed up so mm. i want to emphasize that you must understand the rules of engagement what is applicable in this place because good intention will turn bad when delivery is wrong mm -hmm. when you don't use the right you want to sometimes you want to communicate something that is good but you're not able to uh, achieve that goal because you did not use the right language yes so people can come back to give back to the society to give back uh, on the uh, for, to the mountain of government when their intentions are right and they understand the rules of engagement thank you very much sir Thank you. Okay, so this is a question. Can you see it's a Charles Caribbean of Manu says yes. what happens when some leaders feel intimidated by your voice for fear that you will become their replacement? So you did say build yourself and you know it's true. This handing of power. I know you said we should take it, but uh, this is part of the fear that people have. Yeah, yeah. Now thank you, sir. Charles Caribbean Bob Manuel. Um uh one sign that you know that people are intimidated by you is that they attack you because sometimes some people uh, believe or generally it is believed that the best form of defense is attack so what uh, sometimes yeah. in politics when people see sometimes in politics when people see that, that one is coming up and this person may have a, a, a bright future they attack the person they attack the person. but i have this one thing to say i have this one thing to say when your intentions are right when you have capacity and you have wisdom no matter how the opposition comes at the end of the day you will get what you want funny enough the current president of nigeria has been contesting since 1999 mm. after That's a while people believed in his cause and in 2015 they rallied around him and he got to also rock Say whatever you want to say, but the man didn't give up. That's true. We've seen people that kept on contesting and contesting and contesting, and they, it wasn't working. We we'll see opposition in the party, political party, and suddenly, from nowhere, they just become something. For example, mm -hmm. currently in Edo State, somebody has been contesting on another platform for so many years. He's not been getting the ticket. Right now, before our eyes, he's about to get the ticket. So for a child of God, Write the vision and make it plain. Though it tarries, mm -hmm. it will not tarry. It will yes. surely come. Yes. Opposition is like raw material that God uses to make you a finished product. Mm -hmm. So no matter how they keep pressing you down, you are a seed. They thought they want to bury you, but the opposition is planting you. A time will come, they will try to uproot you and they cannot uproot you. So you must believe in yourself, believe in your God, believe in the cause, and keep moving with wisdom. Thank you very much. Thank you. A few more questions. Uh, this one, uh, I don't want to mispronounce the name, so I'm just going to say Kelvin. Uh, it says, how would, I guess it's strange, how would you, how would a good politician operate, knowing that all the political parties are, pop are popular, are corrupt, and they have a wrong foundation? And yes, you know, if you're not with a popular political party, your chances of actually getting to that seat of governance is, is not very high. So, Okay. Um, for this, this is my opinion, please. This is my opinion. For this matter, <laughs> this is my opinion. Why, why, why eat a fruit that is not ripe when you can eat the one that is ripe? <laughs> why should i get an unripe mango when i have the mango that is ripe right okay we need to understand that some of these political parties they have systems that are operational there's a structure the structure that's been making them to win elections if you want to start your own political party what structure do you have what experience do you have it is better i believe it is better that we go into these political parties as lights and take out the darkness. King Darius was an idol worshiper. Nebuchadnezzar mm. was an idol worshiper. But yeah. 
they all walked with Daniel and they preferred him. They all That's walked true. with Daniel and they preferred him. So I believe that we should go to where there is power and start taking it. Don't go to where there is no power to take. And this is the part that we need to understand. Service, loyalty is very important. There are key important uh, things in politics. You, we need to go to those political parties and serve. And serve. Let the people trust you. Because time for appoint political appointments is those that have served that they will give. Ah, that man, he served. That man, he did this. That man, during the last campaign, he was there. It's those that have served. The challenge with most people with, uh, that have capacity and good intention is that they don't want to serve. And in politics, you must serve. Mm -hmm. Daniel was serving the king. In politics, you must serve. What is your track record of service? You cannot just come up and say you want to be this. What is your track record of serving? Because the political party that will project you. So because some people don't want to serve, they just um, let them start their own thing. That is my opinion. However, if you have the capacity, if you have good intention, with God on your side, and with a good structure, you can start something and it will work. But my opinion is that we go into the place that is messy and clean it up gradually to the top. All right, thank you so much, Pastor. So I have one question. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, but I guess what you're trying to say is how can someone have full concentration for politics while also praying to God for hours? I'm sure this will have to, this will probably be a thing about balancing, but I'm going to leave you to you know, respond to this. All right. As busy as Daniel was with state affairs, Daniel prayed to God three times every day. As busy as he was with state affairs. You see, that is why it is not good to go into political office as a Christian when you have not um, uh, 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 sorted out your relationship with God. There is yes. every tendency that you will fall if you have not been built up in him. Because you, you, you are going into this office or you are going into politics with a kingdom mandate. And so you must have a kingdom system operational in your life. You must have a kingdom system operational in your life. A system that is working already. You are going there to serve. So uh, you must be an organized Christian, first of all. An organized child of God. If they told us back then when we were in school, read like you are not praying and pray like you are not reading. It's the same thing I think I should advise you. Be active in the politics of uh, 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 the political activities. Be active like you are not praying and pray like you are not active. Because with God, all things are possible. As busy as these politicians are, we have seen them pass the back door to go and receive blessing. Because they know that yeah. blessing is what will accelerate. It's blessing of God, the grace of God that will amplify their efforts. So we cannot... They relegate the grace of God in the place of prayer uh, yes. to other things. Look at this. Let, let, let me end by saying this. Government, these things are spiritual. Satan knows that when we go into these government houses and have the political party, we will influence it to the glory of God. And so at the end of the day, when the chips are down, every person in government and politics is representing one house, the house of light or the house of darkness. So you cannot be a neutral body. Some people went into politics without uh, uh, intentions of doing anything bad or joining courts and all that. But a point came, they told them, if you must get this political position, you must do this. And because they were not firm, they went the other way. So it is the grace of God that amplifies efforts and we must hold it very firm. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I know we're already way past them, but I personally have two questions, but I'm going to mold it into one. I'm trying to talk to you. All right. Yeah. How do you, you know, you know how you said rule of engagement and for a political scene, money is important. I think for any politics, anyways, any any government, anywhere, or any political uh, journey. Yeah. So how do you then, of course, you may not have that money personally, because if you have to find time to build your financial, to build yourself financially, to go into it, so it might be, it might take you a long time. So you need backers. 
you know, we know that there are people that will back you and sometimes people back you and uh, with a condition. How do you then, you know, get money, you know, to back yourself for your political journey without succumbing to corruption and making deals? Because of course, if I'm going to give you uh, this billion to finance your campaign, you're going to give me a tax, so it's teach for tax. How do you do? I mean, of course, you have to find the balance because if someone is doing something, you have to do something. How do you then do it without succumbing to corruption and making deals that become detrimental to your deal? All right, thank you very much. That question is very, very dicey. Uh, and I trust that the Almighty God, by the leadership of the Holy Spirit, will help me answer that question. Um, Politics, we need money, especially third world countries like ours. But we trust God that we would get to that point or that position as a nation where money is not a serious factor for politics. Because we have seen in developed countries, people coming into politics having no money or having clean means of getting money. Um, every one of us, every individual is like an asset. And I believe if an asset has value, people will invest in that asset. If the asset has value, people will invest in that asset. That's why I said build your capacity. Build your capacity. The money that is needed to become a councillor in Nigeria for the logistics running up and down for election cannot be compared to that which is needed to become a senator or a governor or even the president. So what are we talking about? As we gradually climb the ladder, the monies that will be needed are not the same. But we must not leave these parts understand that even if the rules of engagement in politics are different, you are coming from a place that has a different rule of engagement, which is the kingdom. And in the kingdom, they say promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from God. You must believe God. If God sent you an assignment, he will give you transport. Yes. You will not trek. Yes. If God sent you on an assignment, you will not trek down there. He will give you transport. We have seen in 2015, men rose up to give money to our president for election. I don't want to go far. Let's look at Nigeria. People came and gave the man money. I demand where to contest election. People believe in the man. They believe the whether we like it or not. The people came out and believed in the man. And we have seen in other places too, people will gather and say, we must support this one. But there are two things. The activity, this politics and the activities for governance are not the same. So the wisdom to get finance for politics is different from the wisdom to get finance in government. Uh, it's different from the wisdom to operate in government. So I will say this. As you start small, yes. people should believe in you. People should believe in your calling. People should believe in your vision, in your interest. Naturally, God will send you helpers. They will finance it. God will finance it in his own way. It may be tough at the beginning, but we must believe God. Normally, young people fail in politics when they just believe that this is this person that will give me the money. No. Even if it's this person that gave me the money, it's God that made you to give me the money, so you cannot control me when, you, when I enter there. If God does not want you to give it, so it's, a, it's a very dicey thing that we should not miss. You are coming from a kingdom mandate, you want to fulfill a kingdom mandate, and the place is dirty. So you must... You must be careful not to miss it. It's, it's a thin line. It's a thin line. For example, I said to somebody some time ago, you want to be uh, governor. You want to be governor. Maybe you're in the private sector. You want to be governor. And that this is the first time you are contesting. You join a party. You want to be governor. Personally, I would advise. This is not a law now. I would advise that maybe you should find your way to see it first or house of rep first mm -hmm. in that place especially in nigeria they give those people a lot of money not crime oh their basic salaries 
their basic uh, allowances. It's a lot of money. If somebody should go into that place, not as crime, normal, give the person all those goodies. After eight years, the person, the person's stomach should be big enough to contest for governorship. So my point is this, there's a lot of wisdom. <laughs> there's a lot of wisdom that is being used, but this is it. We are not like the world. We are not like yeah. the people of the world. We are children of light. We are children of light. So when light comes, darkness gives way. God can finance his mandates. God can finance his projects. If you are God's project in government house, he will finance it. Who is projecting you? You are, project, you are not just projected by one Godfather. You are projected by God the Father. You are not projected by a Godfather. You are projected by God the Father. So you will believe your onions. You will believe the stuff you are made of. You will believe the backup that you have. And you go into that place as light and make some things work out to the glory of God. By God's grace, we are climbing that mountain. And we're going to make, it, we're going to make God proud in Jesus' name. uh sorry i think my network is was breaking thank you this has been so powerful so wonderful god bless you and i hope that everybody that you know stay tuned from the beginning to the end or, at, or came in at some point that you've been blessed because everything that he said is right we have to take this mountain and we cannot be afraid of the journey just because it is dirty because politics is dirty we yeah, have to there, there are giants on the mountain. There are yeah. giants on the mountain. We have to take this journey, this, this path, to get to the mountain that is governance and rule and lead. And that is when we will begin to make policies that please ourselves or please God's people. Or that is just generally good. Because as a Christian, you know, you would that's what you would naturally do rules or policies that that are good for the people thank you so much once again pastor samuel Dagogo. god bless you. you please before you thank go you. let's just let's quickly say a closing prayer a closing word of prayer for us all right father in the name of jesus lord Amen. we thank you king of glory precious god we thank you for a time like this that you have given us kingdom exposition father we know that you are calling us to this mountain things and you are giving us a kingdom mandate we decree and we declare by the efficacy of god's word as the lord taking that mountain in the name of jesus everyone that is watching all over the world with special interest in climbing that mountain decree in our hands in the mighty name of jesus we receive an impartation of grace to become end time soldiers climbing the mountain and raising the banner of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. very much. God Thank bless you. you. You should God bless you too. Amen. Thank you, sir. Bye. All right, so everyone, thank you so much for staying. And don't forget, tomorrow we will continue tomorrow we're going to be talking uh tackling the media that is ma uh, the mountain that is media <laughs> i mix my words there sorry and if you know what is going on you know round about us the media is powerful even pastor samuel Dagogo said the same thing it is one of the tools for everything in this world for business for all the other mountains I mean, they're all related anyway. So don't miss it for anything. And one, the person who's going to be speaking to us is Pastor Adela Apolaji. He's the pastor in charge of um, RCCG Living Seed, uh, Omole, uh, Living Seed Church, Omole, Lagos. And um, he's going to be talking about the media is uh, very well vested in that industry or in that on that mountain is a, is a is a growing giant on that mountain and that's what we all want to be so please don't miss it and uh, god bless you also don't forget to pick the important things that pastor samuel has said i'm going to leave a couple of notes as soon as i'm able to type in the comment section even if that's all you do just copy it they're all very important let's go and you know begin to claim this mountain that is government 
don't sleep on what you've heard today. And may God bless you to go. As I said, I'm the DJ. So I'm going to be playing you. I'll just finish up on the song I was playing. All Power by Nathaniel Bassi, one of my favorites. God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.